It's time for our daily devotion, daily daily of abiding in Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. A daily devotional ministry project of Christo Gojino Gaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. July 8, 2020 Ephesians 5 verses 1 and 2, 11 to 17 Verses 1 and 2 Be ye therefore followers of God, as dear children, and walk in love, as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. Verses 11 to 17 and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light, for whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy God's ideal for his children is higher than the highest human thought can reach. The plan of redemption contemplates our complete recovery from the power of Satan. Christ always separates the contrite soul from sin. He came to destroy the works of the devil, and he has made provision that the Holy Spirit shall be imparted to every repentant soul, to keep him from sinning. The tempter's agency is not to be accounted an excuse for one wrong act. Satan is jubilant when he hears the professed followers of Christ making excuses for their deformity of character. It is these excuses that lead to sin. There is no excuse for sinning. A holy temper, a Christ-like life, is accessible to every repenting, believing child of God. The ideal of Christian character is Christ-likeness. As the Son of Man was perfect in his life, so his followers are to be perfect in their life. Jesus was in all things made like unto his brethren. He became flesh, even as we are. He was hungry and thirsty and weary. He was sustained by food and refreshed by sleep. He shared the lot of man, yet he was the blameless Son of God. He was God in the flesh. His character is to be ours. The Lord says of those who believe in him, I will dwell in them, and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people, 2 Corinthians 6 verse 16. By Ellen White, Desire of Ages, page 311. Our prayer for you today. Dear God, our Father in heaven, we approach your sacred presence with awe and reverence because you are holy, just, good and lovingly, our Father. Today, we pray as your children can walk in love as Jesus loved us. Thank you for answering our prayer because we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you.